Um, my philosophy was a very simple one. I, um, and this is where I think film plays a big part in my life. I, I, you know, Rudy was one of my favorite films growing up. A lot of attitude, so I quit. Still not a week goes by, I don't regret it. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life, you won't regret walking out, letting them get the best of you. You hear me clear enough? Rudy was one of my favorite films growing up. But after watching that film, I come to understand if I could work that hard every day, um, with the, being blessed with the physical tools that I have, what would my career be? And I made a promise to myself from that day that I was going to work that hard every single day. So versus phase we'll wait a minute wait a minute seven. Wait, wait a minute wait a minute i want to say something actually like there we go camera on me so I, like i said earlier i don't have any excuses when it comes to this liquid versus phase match like the loser like ah it didn't matter anyway who cares i'll see you in the grand finals like <laughs> in light of the sports world's recent tragic loss of retired nba superstar kobe bryant i want to talk a little bit to the esports world but especially to you cs go pros about the mamba mentality the philosophy that he actually lived his whole life by the Mamba mentality is something that is acquired, not something that one or two or three people have. It's something that is, relies on discipline, consistency, and all around dedication to something you love. In this video, I'm going to try to explain the Mamba mentality in eSports. Maybe there's a reason for me wanting to actually play. Because I was pretty dead set on just like retiring. Um, but something is just drawing me back in. I just wanna, I just wanna, I, it's like, it's like fate was saying like, nah, you're not done writing your story yet. Like you gotta keep going for a sec. Like just a few more years. Cause like there's something crazy that comes along the way, you know? Um, and that's what kind of motivates me daily. Like in hopes of that moment where I'm just like, holy shit, how did we get here? And I'm just like standing on like the world champs of Halo somehow. Like, just some shit like that, it's just like, I feel like there's still something unwritten, so. In 2020, Optic Gaming would win their first ever world championship in Halo. And for Formal, this would be his second world championship of his career, making him a multi-FPS champion. And one of the biggest things I like to say about Formal is his mentality. Everybody in the scene knows Formal's mentality is completely unmatched. Everything from his gameplay, to the way he talks, to the way he carries himself, is the definition of a Mamba mentality. We've seen in COD and Infinite Warfare, where when Optic Gaming won the World Championship there, we saw the exact same performances from Formal that we see now in Halo. And getting better every single day, so you don't regret tomorrow. That is the Mamba mentality for Formal. For Faker, one is never enough. A lot of players in esports like to, once they win, kind of fall off and tend to not care as much because they got theirs, they got their slice of the pie. Faker was the exact opposite of that. He wanted more. He did not want to regret his career. Are being dove under their tower. SK Telecom have overcome every challenge. They are the undisputed best team in the world. The SKT reign continues. They win their third world championship. And you better believe the crowd's giving a standing ovation after that one. This was an incredibly But 
that was my philosophy. It seems like a pretty simple one, but you know, if you live your life to just get better every single day, you do that for 20 years, I mean, what do you have? trick, isn't it? It's finding what you love to do. I mean, we talk about hard work all the time. It's like, you know, man, if you got to get up every single morning and remind yourself how hard you need to work, you probably need to choose a different profession, you know, because that shouldn't be there. I, I wake up in the morning excited to get to it. You know, if I'm not training, I'm missing it. If I'm not watching a game of basketball. I miss it. I, you know, there's no place I'd rather be. And if you have that feeling, then you're truly doing what God has put you on this earth.